Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday, everyone. The reference for today's painting is a picture that I took while on a cycling trip last summer to Tobermory, which is in Canada. And as you saw me do earlier, I lightly penciled in the horizon line and covered just that top portion with a thin layer of water since we are doing the wet in wet technique here. And then you can simply create the sky by dragging your brush from the border to the middle of the um, horizon portion. And in the process, you create these rough brush strokes using blue towards the top and pink as you gradually get closer to the horizon. You can also add in some clouds as you see me doing here by add, adding uh, pigmented brush strokes wherever you please. Also, I'm just going to take a moment to remind you to click that like button for good luck on your next painting. Once that top portion has dried, and I know I didn't wait for it to dry in, in the painting here, but I really encourage you to, to wait um, so that it doesn't bleed into the uh, horizon and past the horizon. But you're going to again cover the bottom portion with a thin layer of water and then create uh, kind of a reflection of colors. So this is going to be the water portion. So we want a darker shade of blue or even slightly black towards the bottom and have it progressively get lighter as you move towards the horizon because it's supposed to be reflecting the bright sky. And it's okay if it's not perfect, your horizon that is, uh, because here we are going to be adding little mountains or hills, whatever uh, you want to do. Um, but where, where I was when I took this picture, there were these uh, little, I, I wouldn't call them mountains because we don't really have mountains in uh, the part of Canada that I live in, but they, they were hills, I guess. <laughs> And uh, you'll see me do a few different layers of these mountains. So the first layer is obviously going to be the darkest because um, that is the view or the, the mountain that you um, see. Sorry, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> the, obviously the, the mountain that is darker is the one that is closer to you. And I think it would actually be easier if you did it the opposite way and did the lighter shade of the mountain first because you can see here that it's slightly bleeding onto the first layer that I did and you want to avoid that because it doesn't look very clean. Um, so yeah, I would recommend you do it the, in reverse uh, from the way that I did it. So once that water layer has dried, uh, you're going to start adding some more details to your painting. So I started adding water details here, but I would encourage you to wait until after you paint the flowers because um, the stems of the flowers are lighter in pigment, so you don't want the water details to show through the stems of the flowers. So first, I would paint the flowers. Um, basically, you can take a lime green or even a darker green if you don't want some of the details to show through. And you can either end with a flower that's sprouting at the end of the stem or a bulb that is about to flower. And I think the, the bulbs are much easier to paint because they're just blobs, but they look really, really nice um, because they look accurate and I just think they're much easier to paint than full-on flowers and I don't know what types of flowers these are but these were the exact flowers that were in the picture I took as well and because I was trying to go for a quicker painting here I didn't really add very many details to the flowers um, they don't have to look good just as long as you pigment the bulbs uh, adequately I think it will look really really nice you can see me adding some more details to the mountains or the hills. I was trying to correct that bleed that happened um, and again you can avoid that simply by doing the most background layer of the mountains first and then just progressively getting darker as each layer dries.
By the way, upon your request, I have decreased the speed of my painting for this particular video so that it's easier to follow along. Please let me know if it's still too fast or if it's too slow or if it's just right. Uh, because again, I want to alter my videos so that they are mo most beneficial for you guys and so that more people want to watch them. Uh, so just comment below whether you think this is a good speed or if I should adjust it or any other recommend recommendations that you have for my videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe and again, hit that like button if you haven't already. It only takes you a second, but it really helps me grow my channel. So once you've completed your flowers, you're going to add more of the details in the water. And you simply do this by taking a darker shade of blue and just dragging these rough lines across the water. And I felt that the background that I created wasn't dark enough, so you can see me sort of going over it with a solid color again. But you can still see the water details through that layer which is great because it adds a level of um, uh, depth that you're kind of hoping to achieve, but you can just eliminate this process by just creating a darker background in the first place, which I do encourage you to do uh, because it just makes the painting stand out more. You can also add some details or shading coming from the mountains as well um, because, you know, a mountain reflects off of the water. And you can also take some white acrylic paint, as you can see me doing here once your whole painting has dried, and create some sailboats uh, roughly in the distance and also add some very rough white detailing on the water to show kind of ripples in the water. Now, this sailboat was not in the original picture that I took of this landscape, but I felt like it was a little bit empty, so I decided to add a sailboat close up. Um, I initially used sort of a, a lighter, lighter black grayish color for the silhouette of the boat, but then I went over it in black because I felt that it wasn't standing out enough. I also added some shading uh, just below the boat to insinuate a reflection on the water and then you're basically complete. You're all done. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel because I do put out two videos every single week and I invite you guys to check out any of the other videos that I have. Have a wonderful day!